Hi all, Terhi here again. I'm super excited to play again with April 2018 hip kits, focusing on especially for the color kit because it was so delicious with the stencil from Echo Park and one of mist and a couple of oxide inks. And I'm going to start with the stencil which has this fun, beautiful flower pattern and going to use this oxide ink. Actually this one was from the previous hip kits. Um, but anyway I'm going to start with this pink one and then I'm going to continue with another one. I didn't apply any gessos or anything else to the background because I'm not going to use any wet medias on here. I'm just going to use dry stamps dry stamps, dry inks <laughs> and then I'm going to add something more but it doesn't need any anything to make waterproof surface. So I'm just adding this ink here and there, repeating the flower pattern and I really like it. It's beautiful, it spreads beautifully and it's nice to have this kind of ink all over the page that spreads out. It's not exact, it's not strict, it's just spreading here and there. Then I took this butterfly stamp, I think it was from Wiki Pudding line from American Crafts, but I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a small butterfly and this coral uh, oxide ink is from April 2018 hip kits. Uh, I'm just going to stamp here first this little butterfly here and there kind of close to the areas I added the pink ink and I think it's wonderful to repeat this kind of small image of this butterfly here and there and then I'm going to also repeat it with turquoise oxide ink. Uh, this was also from one of the previous hip kits and I really like that I can combine these color kits um, together with different months. And I really like the effect that I have this blended ink with the flowers and then I have this really strict image of the butterflies. You can ink on top of another ink and you will see all the layers, it's beautiful. I also took this a little, uh, a bit bigger ink. ink. Ah. My words. Anyway, I took this flower <laughs> stamp. It's from the same stamp set and I'm going to stamp again with the same pink oxide ink here and there. I have a lovely photograph, white and uh, black and white photograph of my sister's uh, children which are really dear to me and I love them and they are part of my life, so I want to add them to my scrapbooks too. We had so much fun outside last fall and I really love this picture. They are sitting in this... I'm not sure what the word is in English, but I guess you can understand it from the picture. We had so much fun, lots of laughing and yeah. So I want to use exactly these papers for the layout, all from April main kit and I really love the colors of these papers. They are so beautiful and as we were outside during the photograph when we took it and it was fall and everything so it's these uh, colors kind of repeat the feelings I had towards the picture, so I really love them. But now that I'm doing the paper clustering thing, as I usually do, I'm seeing that the pink ink I used on the background is a bit too... Um, what's the word? bit too bright. As you can see, the papers are a bit more um, darker and more earth-toned than the bright pink, so I'm not sure about this background. But I'm going to continue with my idea of the photograph because I, I have this uh, idea in my head and I want to really, really, really want to 
make this the way I I have in mind. So I'm picking up this, picking up, yeah, pick me up from Bates Taylor Evans, uh, a Primera set, which is what which was also in April main kit, and I'm picking up there for uh, the words that I might going to use, and then I'm going to make this paper paper clustering thing, just adding papers, lots of layers to frame the picture and make lots of details and lots of layers to put some embellishment between and yeah. So I'm really thinking hard what to start with. No, they were too big. So I'm going to start all over the, again. And I picked up this green oxide ink. I think this goes much better with the idea I have in mind and with these papers I'm going to use. Also with these um, die cuts I'm going to use from the Epromera pack. Uh, the flower stamp is the same I used before, but now just with the green ink. And I added just a couple of flowers here and there. And now I'm going to think, okay, I'm going to add this photograph here. And I wanted to something on the background, but not much. Just something. So drawing with this, with this uh, pencil is always a good idea because it makes a little more detail here and there, but not too much. I also uh, now know that I'm going to add my photograph just in the middle of the upper part of the page and it's easy to start building the background when you know where you have your photograph. These little uh, color swatches, I don't know <laughs> which is the right word for this, but anyway, these tiny little paper pads from the same Pick Me Up collection from Pink Paisley is absolutely adorable. Uh, these were in April embellishment kit, and I'm just cutting them first half and then half, and I have these quite small triangles. And I want to build a background of this. I'm also going to add a similar size of paper pieces from this this uh, turquoise paper. It's from Dearly See Stay Colorful line, if I remember right. Also from the April main kit. And I'm starting to design how to put all those triangles to the background. I have used these before, these triangles, so it's not all new, but I want to set them like this. Not for the, uh, like the squares I have some used some time ago, but I want to make them like this. This was in my mind. So those little stamp flowers will be visible from between the papers, and because I'm going to use 3D foam to adhere these little pieces of papers and to make sure that there is much more of the stamped image visible because if you see the um, layout in my hand, in your hand, anyway somewhere else than just from above, you, you can see that there is a lot of stamped things <laughs> behind those little triangles. So I'm just designing it now and then I'm going to adhere it. Uh, I also cut down a couple of those pattern papers to smaller pieces so that I could make that paper cluster and I used a stapler to put it together. Now I'm designing how to put the title. I have this marvelous word and then laughter because it much much as well to this photograph. And once I attached all those triangles and I also glued down this paper cluster. I decided that I want to use these lovely shimmel corners, glitter corners. They have some shiny elements. I want to add these because it's nice to have something shiny, something matte, or something soft like the thread behind the paper cluster and lots of different things. And as I have so much paper layers here, I needed to add some glue to make sure that those little corners will 
will be there when I, where I added them. And then I'm going to add this lovely bow to the frame. It will be a nice small detail and give something sweet yellowish color for the page. And as in April kit we had this lovely exclusive puffy uh, stickers from Hip, Hip Kit Club in the kit. I couldn't resist using these. These are my absolutely favorite part from the April kit. Because I know that Kim Watson, who's who's the uh, who's our um, product designer, also Kimberly, who owns the Hip Kit Club, they both have such a good taste with with designs. They always, if they do something exclusive products, they are good. They are like really good. I could live only with those products because they are so beautiful and cute and goes with boy pages and girl pages and everything. Anyway, just adding these title words, of, again using 3D foam to make sure that they are in the same level that the photograph is and because there's so much paper layers behind the photo I need to use these little foam dots here and there so that everything looks smooth and perfectly layered. And then some finishing touches. These are Chanel enamel dots or enamel stars and I'm going to pick up the stars. Oh, there's hearts too. But anyway, I'm using these stars and just adding a couple here, a couple there, a couple here. Uh, these also have some glitter uh, into material so it's really nice to have these here and there they are giving it a nice finishing touch and really really beautiful result for the layout and I really love this way that those green flowers that are stamped for for the background are now peeking up behind the triangles just the way I thought it would be and I'm going to cover the photograph and then using this uh, first this pink mist from Shimmers to add a couple of details here and there. This is all also from one of the previous hip kits but I think it was from last fall. Then as I added the yellow bowl to the, on top of the frame I also want to add some yellow mist here and there, not much but some, and this is quite warm yellow, it's from Altenu. Um it's almost orange I think, but not not just orange, it's yellowish orange, <laughs> anyway it, it gives some warmth to the layout. I hope you are inspired by this, I hope you really um, enjoyed doing or seeing me doing this kind of layout and of course if you do a similar one then please tag me to your to your creation in Instagram or in HipKit Club group in Facebook or anywhere I want to see them. So thank you for watching and I hope we will see you again soon. Thank you and bye!